Now to major developments in the Flint water crisis today. Members of the Michigan National Guard are going to be leaving Flint, and a new plan is now being put in place to get water to those who still need it. The governor signed a new executive order in hopes of reducing the lead threat to children across the state. Our consumer investigator Hank Winchester is following these developments, and Hank, the mayor of Flint seems pretty pleased on both of these counts. She is. She was pleased, and so were members of the medical community at that meeting today with the governor. Uh, this is all the new plan to get water to those who need it. That's going to go into effect very soon. As all of that played out, the governor, though, was focused on making sure this does not happen again. What I'm doing today um, through executive order is essentially creating a new um, child-led poisoning elimination board. Governor Snyder in Flint today and the governor signing an executive order, creating a statewide board with one goal, eliminating lead exposure to children across the state of Michigan. This is a statewide effort. Um, and it's to come out and create a, a board that will have 12 members. It's to give a report by November. Um, it's to focus in on all the key steps, I believe, of this process, including how do we get more children tested for lead? How do we do better follow-up with that? How do we do better programming to eliminate the risk factors, do investigations and such, and then do better data and reporting of information? The governor also announcing today that the members of the Michigan National Guard who have been working to distribute water in Flint will soon begin to wind down their efforts. Since late January, roughly 400 guardsmen and women have been a constant presence at firehouses in Flint. Now the water will be moved to various community centers and those handing it out, 120 residents who are now being paid to do this work. The mayor praising this move, saying it is putting people in the city to work, creating jobs, but also working to provide people with clean water, which they desperately need. That new water distribution program will likely get underway sometime in early June. Again, the mayor seems very happy with this plan. That was something that she worked on with the governor. Yeah. And it's putting people to work in Flint, which is another bonus, right. too. We still, though, don't have agreement on really how to proceed, right, in the new right. pipes versus coating the pipes. Debate. Right. You've got the, the governor's plan, which is let's wait and see and, and test the water yeah. and see how it goes. Yeah. We're going to get test results in about another week. The mayor says that people don't trust anything. You got to rip every One pipe out. Pipes, yeah. So we're still kind of in a wait and see approach right now. Okay. Okay.